Hello, hello everyone. This is Kateri. I haven't been on for a while. Some of you know why, um, <clears throat> but I'm not going to put that here. I've needed to do this uh, video ever since I did my Edith Holden uh, journal. And this is um, um, some ephemera that I made. I made three of everything, one for the two journals, and then I, I made an extra to sell. And so I'm going to go through um, everything that um, I have here, and then we'll talk about it um, on the end, at the end. So, let's move some of this out of the way for now. Okay, so this is uh, one of the Tim Holtz um, frames, and I put Edith's picture in there, and this is from the cover of, of um, her book, and then you can pull this out. It's just held in by the foam tape and you can fold or pull that out and um, then you can write on the back of it. I see I pu punched a hole in one part of it and not the back paper. So I may, you know, go ahead and finish that off and that way it'll be easier to pull out. But there's a little piece of fabric here with a rub on. No, that's not a rub on. That is um, a butterfly that I glued onto that fabric. So, did a little bit of stamping on there. And then, of course, you've got a couple of die, few die cuts on there. I did some stamping, some ink dyeing um, on that piece. So. All right, so there's that piece. This is a uh, playing card that um, I altered on this side with some inks and die cuts and like this is a this is a stencil right here of a dragonfly. So some butter butterfly and. I think this is Tim Holtz, and that may be too, but I'm, yeah, don't, don't mark my words down. Can't remember. Here's another. I think this one was a challenge that I did, and um, so I made that. Can have journaling on the back. It's got the little green. I love this. I need some more. I'm just about out. I have to go get some before I do my own journal. Here's another um, little thing here. So, that's so cute. Um, and then this is just a journaling card. And it's got some Edith Holden paper on it. Well, all of this is Edith Holden. Um, it's got a um, sticker on here of mushrooms, some stenciling, and a few uh, ink spotches I did sew on it. And then you can write on the back of that. <clears throat> Here is another ATC. I like this one. It's pretty cute. But it's got this little bee on it with some crystals in it. And it has um, some acetate stickers. And then the background um, is, I can't remember, I think this is like, oh, what is the name of this paper? Anyway, it's super thin, thin type paper here. And so I put it on this um, watercolor paper. What is the name of that? I don't know, it could be a sticker. But anyway, it's pretty cool. I like the way it feels pretty cool. Um, here is a bookmark, and this is actually from clothes. I need to cover the back of that. Um, this was another challenge. It was like a two-minute challenge, 
and you just use stuff that you had, you know, in a scrap thing, and you just went to town and whatever, whatever you had. I think that's what it was, or it was the one that you had to pick from five different piles. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know. Anyway, I can't remember right off, but I did do a challenge like that with these two different things. So that could be what it was. You know, but you had to pick and start gluing, and I was surprised mine actually went as well as it did, if that's what it was. So anyway, it needs a little something on the top of it. So I better put that over off to the side and this one here so I can finish punching a hole in that. Um, we have, this is a flip, um, a fabric flip that you can glue on the top of a page and then flip up to right underneath of it. But we've got some lace, some fabric, some more lace. I did sew on this. There is a piece of wood, a piece of moss, and then we have some German scrap here that I used, and then I put a piece of fabric. Now, if you get this and you want to sew this into your page, you'll want to do it before you put the journal together or sew in your signatures so you can sew this straight across here. So, let's see. Um, this is just a little paper clip dangle, a couple of beads on it, and a um, couple of ticket. This is like a, um, oh, from a postery piece. And you can add something on here if you would like. But you just, you know, you can hang it from the side of your journal or the top of it. And then I have this envelope that I made out of her paper. This one does have um, um, a rub-on. I love, these rub-ons are super cool. But 49er Market has the best rub-ons ever. So, um, but I put that on the little check gingham and so this is just another journaling card here that I made just with some scrap kind of you know scrap type collaging and then you can journal on that you could put that in there and then when you are ready, you can just glue the side of this, if you want, onto the page, and then it will end up being a flip page, like this. And you'll want to put something over the top of this to cover that. So you're like, you'll either decorate another page. Let's see, how can I say? You'll want it to be like this. So when you open it, you don't see that flip. So, anyway, or you can cut that off, and you can glue here, here, and here, and then you would make this another pocket behind it. So you have your choice to do whichever one you want. And then I have, I guess, I have this to do also. Wow. Um, here is one that is just a tag. Um or bookmark whatever you want you can journal on the other side and I'll go ahead and finish this one off I didn't know I did didn't do it but I'll probably put the little elongated um, piece in there or I could put a big brad in here I might do that I'll see what I've got and then I could put my ribbon on there so we'll put that off to the side, okie dokie. So now we have another one that can be a flip. If you, well no, that's supposed to be glued onto your page. It's supposed to be glued onto the page like this. So um, you glue the bottom first, 
glue it down here and a little bit up here away about a quarter of an inch from the edge because when you push it it's going to run up um, it may run off depending I mean you just need a little tiny bead and then once you glue that piece down then you can glue this the sides if you like you want it's just to give you a little bit more room um, inside the page when you have these flaps um, so here's a journaling card and there's the back I really like how all these turned out with her papers it's pretty cool very nice so there is that and then these are kind of my fun things here that I, I love these they're pretty cool I every one of these were different they were not the same so this is a piece that when you put this in it's supposed to look like this and it gives you enough room around the edge and the bottom to put um, to put what do I want to say some foam tape to raise this up a little if you want because I don't know that you actually I mean you can glue it if you want but foam tape would um, just real thin on both sides and then you would just pull this up and you can write on it or you can write on the front if you like so this one is one way of doing it and then I turned around and I made this one which is much different than this one this one actually I'm sorry this one actually has real dried flowers underneath the acetate so I went ahead and closed this one off like I said every one of these that I've made are all different no two are alike um, some have the pull out this pull out is acetate with the flowers in it and then you slide it down into the pocket and then you can see it and when you pull it out then there's there is uh, something behind it so yeah it's er, all of them so this one uh, is more of the like Edith Holden mushrooms which these are from her book these black ones um, and I just yeah added some gold splatters and then when you pull this one out you can see her writing behind there I really want to make some more of those those were just so much fun and this is a die that Maddie herself had made um, at Spectremark Creations dot com and I honestly cannot tell you what the name of this die is the hidden pull die hidden I don't know I don't know if she's in there and the um, she sees this and can answer that in the comments down below uh, that would be awesome because I've never known the name of this I just thought it was pretty cool to use okay this was definitely a challenge that I had in my group I made several of these they're all different too um, but oh, it says October 10th and um, yeah these were really cool so you can make this a belly band which is what I kind of what it's for so you glue at the top and you glue at the bottom and then you can slide things under it like this onto your page and it'll hold it in there so that's what that's what this is for all righty don't get mixed up now this is something else I made all of these on my channel um, I think I've got a playlist that says Edith Holden so this is um, a big um, tag there is this is um, a real dried 
flower leaf here. You can journal on the back. And I put some glue around this so nothing would get snagged on it. So, yeah. And this is just in a envelope that I had. So this is a pocket. And then you've got this pocket here. And depending on how you want to glue this, um, wait a minute, I'm going to stick this one in here because of the bird's tail. Just see if you remember how many, I guess I could slide a piece. Anyway, depending on how you glue this, you can either use this for writing and just stick it in, in like a corner pocket thing, um, or glue it on three sides and use this back part as a pocket also. So I just, I, I don't, or add a, you know, um, um, get a half an inch, or I mean a, an inch um, piece of paper, fold it in half, and glue it back here. You'll want it to be some kind of color that'll coordinate with this. Glue half of it here, and then use it as a flip, like I did this. And then you can you could use it as a you know flip and you can add something to the back. Um, this is a page that I made. Oh, it's upside down. Um, that is what they call a raggedy page. And you can stick this in your journal and it can either save your place or you should be able to like the journal that I made and sold, the Edith Holden, which will be the video before this one, um, it um, was like three inches, three, three and a half inches thick. And so it would have been really great because that book has one too, where you slide it in and then you can write over the top of it and you don't have to worry about, you know, something bumpy up underneath of it. So you have a pretty much of a smooth um, area to write on. So this is just a collage sheet, and I learned this through um, Nick the Booksmith. She's got some that are really cool. This one actually has a pocket on the back that has, you can do some journaling. And there's a pocket right here, too. I bet you didn't know that. So, yeah. You don't want that sticking out too far, because... This edge here um, is supposed to be up in, inside the book, but as you can see, that's, that is a kind of a hidden spot. If you didn't see me taking that out, you probably, I guess I could write on their pole. So anyway, so there's that. And then I made um, these little tiny journals to hang off of the side of your journal, the spine of the journal. And like some of us, you know, add little dangly things on the side. Well, I made all, I made three of these and they are, you can actually write in these things. You can open them up and put little notes inside there if you want. I thought they were pretty darn cute. So each book, each journal will have one. I don't even have my journal made yet. Too much going on. So anyway, so you get this little tiny journal that says gardens on it. So I thought that was fitting. So um, if you are interested in this Edith Holden um, ephemera pack, uh, and I will sit here right now and I will work on these here um, just message me below uh, or message me in messenger and um, I'll get with you the this is going to be uh, $35 plus shipping so I should all be able just to go in an envelope so the shipping shouldn't be you know too much 
So I will talk with you later. And thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.